Welcome students. Let us now start with part 3 of grade 5. In our previous lecture, we have discussed about Indian place value chart, greatest smallest digit number and rules to read and write large numbers. So students, I request you all, please watch this video till last. What we will study in this part? Number 1, face value and place value. Number 2, expanded form and standard form. Number 3, comparing numbers. Number 4, forming numbers. Number 5, predecessor and successor. Let's start with first topic, face value and place value. Face value is the actual value of a digit. Example, in this number given, the face value of 5 is 5. The value of a digit based on its position or place in the given number. Place value of a digit is equal to face value into position value. An example I have shown you in screen. As you can see there, a number is written 48365. So I mentioned there 1s, 10s, 100, 1000, 10,000. Place value of 8 is 8000. That is 8 into 1000 is equal to 8000. We can say face value into place is equal to place value. Example number 2. So let's take a number 923576 and we have to find out place value of 5. Place value of 5 is 500. That is 5 into 100 is equal to 500. Numbers can be written in three different forms. Standard form, word form and expanded form as you can see in board. Now number one, standard form. Standard form is what we write to show the digits in a number. So for example, here I have given one question. Write each of the following in standard form. A part, 8 lakh plus 30,000 plus 40 plus 9. So students, no value is given for the thousands and hundred place. So we write zeros in these two places. So answer is 830049. Word form. The word form is used when we write the words that represent numbers. Example 42568. In word form, how we will write? 42000. 568. Expanded form. Whatever we are reading, that is the expanded form. Expanded form is also called expanded notation. Example 4968. How do we read this? 4968. So here 4 is at 1000 place. So write 4, 0, 0, 0. Plus, 9 is at 100 place. Write 9, 0, 0. Plus, 6 is at tens place. Write 6, 0. Plus, 8 is at ones place. Write 8. So, answer is 4000 plus 900 plus 60 plus 8. Now, let's do some practice questions. Question, write the place, place value and face value of the underlined digits. A part, the number is 47835. So, students, 1s, 10s, 100, 1000, 10,000. So, we have to find out the place, place value and face value of the underlined digit that is 7. So, the place is 1000. Face value is the actual value of a digit. So, face value is 7. Place value, we will do face value into place that is 7 into 1000 is equal to 7000. Next question, write 365,207 in words and in expanded form. So, answer, word form, 
As I am reading, I have to write three lakh sixty-five thousand two hundred seven. Expanded form, like three lakh plus sixty thousand plus five thousand plus two hundred plus seven. Next topic: comparing numbers. As you can see, two numbers are given: thirty-five thousand two hundred ninety-eight. And four thousand five hundred ninety-eight. So look here. The first number is five-digit number, whereas the second number is four-digit number. Therefore, we say thirty-five thousand two hundred ninety-eight is greater than four thousand five hundred ninety-eight, or five-digit is greater than four-digit. Now let us take two numbers. Seventy six lakh eighty seven thousand eight hundred fifty eight and seventy six lakh eighty nine thousand six hundred sixty three. So in above example, both the numbers have same number of digits, that is seven digits. So we start from left and compare the digits. So seven, six, and eight is same in both the numbers. And in four digit, first number there is seven. And second number there is nine, so both the digits are different. Whereas seven is less than nine, so we can say that seventy six lakh eighty seven thousand eight hundred fifty eight is less than seventy six lakh eighty nine thousand six hundred sixty three. Next topic: forming numbers. So here let us form a five digit number using five. Comma six, comma seven, three and nine. So some rules are number one: to form the greatest number, rearrange the digits in descending order or decreasing order. Descending order means greatest to smallest number. So what I get the answer: nine, seven, six, five, three as the greatest number. Second rule: to form the smallest number, rearrange the digits in ascending or increasing order. Ascending order means smallest to greatest. We get three, five, six, seven, nine. So this number is the smallest number. And third rule: we never start a number with zero. Last topic for the day: predecessor and successor. Predecessor is the number that comes just before the number that is one less than the number. Successor is the number that comes just after the number that is one more than the number. Example: Let us take the number one four nine two eight. So predecessor of one four nine two eight is equal to one four nine two eight minus one. So predecessor is one four nine two seven, and successor of one four nine two eight is equal to. We will add one. So one four nine two eight plus one one four nine two nine. Students, that's all for today's class. I hope you all have understood Gurleen Ma'am's class. So class five, part three completed. So we'll continue in our next class. Now homework for today: revise what all worked on today. Class work I'll be sending in your class groups. Bye bye.